¿Estás bien? Nunca te he visto tan... Callada. ¿Qué ocurre? Bobby Bear me hizo una pregunta que no consigo olvidar. ¿Cuál era? ¿Cómo han podido hacer algo así? ¿Cómo han podido cazar y matar a gente en el bosque? ¿Qué le dijiste? Que no piensan como nosotros. Pero la verdad es que sí pensamos como ellos. Sí. Claro. Es nuestro trabajo. Hay que entrar en su mente. Nosotros cazamos a esa gente todos los días. La pregunta es, entre ellos y nosotros, ¿hay tanta diferencia? I'm not looking for a friend. I'm looking for a Jedi Master. Jedi Master? Yoda. You seek Yoda. Yoda. Clear your mind of questions. You must unlearn what you have learned. A Jedi Spring flows from the Force. That is the way of things. For my ally is the Force. And the powerful ally it is. Its energy is around. Yo, what's up? You got your boy Chell Fucker coming at you live from the captain's chair. Y'all know exactly how I do it. Well, Clara does it too. <laughs> uh, what's up, YouTube? What's going on? 
Uh, nothing much. I'm just sitting here. Uh, for the time being, I'm about to do a dip video. And uh, what I really wanted to do was this um, Tennessee Chew, something like that. I've been, I've been trying to get my hands on that. And um, I really don't know if we actually sell that or not. I think, I think the tea stores down here actually does. And if they do, um, I need to get some. I wanted to get some, but I got caught up in other things and I really didn't get a chance to do that. But today, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a good while. Um, a very good while, actually. Uh, I've been dipping it, but I haven't been doing a video on it. And uh, no, it's not Grizzly Green. No, it's not that. But there is uh, Longhorn Winter Green Long Cut. Uh, some of y'all like it. Some of y'all don't. But um, we're going to do it up. Anyway, I like it, so. But like I say, everything's been going good so far. I've still been uh, busy doing other things, trying to get stuff, trying to take care of. Um, mm -mm. Oh, man. Well, let's see. Let's talk about a few things. Uh... I was in the country um, a couple of days ago, and I was near to where my mother was buried. Actually, I went out there, and um, just being out there in the country where I was born and raised, it, uh, it it brought me back to to a different time, to a more simpler time. Like for example, back way back then, you know, living out in the country, you can leave your front door and back door wide ass open. You don't have to worry about nobody. You know, coming in and uh, knocking you on the side of the head or shooting you with a gun, killing your ass, or in taking your shit. You didn't have to worry about that. Um, in, in today's age, yes, you do have to worry about that. But, um, I mean, there was so, so many things that we didn't have back then. And, um, like, for example, today, if you got mosquitoes or, or pesky flies and all that bullshit, Ty, uh, you got raid and black flag and all that old stuff. You know, this and I can't just spray the button and it'll come out. But back then, um, there was a spray pump. It was like a it was like a little can at the bottom, but it had a long, a long little tube like thing. It had a pump at the very end of it. And what you can, what you do is you just unscrew it and then fill it up with poison or, or whatever the shit is, or black flag or raid or whatever. And you fill it up, then you screw it back on, and then you just spray it. You know, you pump it out and it sprays out. And that's what we used for the mosquitoes and stuff like that. But I also remember when I was really young that um, you take a bucket, okay? You take a bucket and you put a bunch of old raggedy old clothes that you don't want anymore. You know, just, just regular old cloth, whatever. And you set it on fire, okay? You set it on fire and then you put it out and you just let it smoke. So if you got mosquitoes in your house or flies in your house or whatever, you wanted to get rid of them, you do that and you just fill up your entire house with smoke. And it, it'll just run them all out. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what everybody did back in the day. Black folks, white folks, whoever. If you lived out in the country um, many years ago, that's what people did. And it worked. Because not only did it get rid of the, uh, the flies and mosquitoes and, and the gnats or whatever, um, it kept them out. You know what I'm saying? And if, if you want to get rid of the smoke, all I do all I have to do just you know just open the doors and open the windows and all the smoke just go out. Um, it won't leave your house smelling like smoke. It'll just you know just all go out. And that's what we did. I mean, there's uh, there's so many stuff that we used to do. Um, we didn't have a broom like a regular house broom and shit, top. We didn't have that. Our broom was made out of straw. You know, take a bunch of long straws together and tap a string at the very tops, combine them so they won't. You know, go go anywhere, and you just sweep the floor and shit all like that. We used to do that. No, we didn't have dirt floor. Thank you. I wasn't back in the caveman and shit all like that. It wasn't like that. But that's what we had in Broome, and we didn't have indoor plumbing, but we did have a well. That's how we got our water. And we didn't have uh, an indoor bathroom. We had an outhouse. And I and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, outhouses are still being used today. But uh, not much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, like I say, we didn't have that little that little um, plastic or silver looking thing. We can just press it and then it would just flush. We didn't have that. Now, today's bathrooms, you have that. And when you sit down in it, and then if you're planning on dropping something down in there and you hear a katoosh, 
That is what we call a uh, backsplash, okay? That's what we call that. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. But in an outhouse, you don't, you don't have, there is no backsplash because there's a big long ass hole down there. So what you can do, instead of getting a backsplash and go whoo, you know, instead of getting that, you just stick your ear down and just like, well, it didn't go like, it just went, <laughs> it went like that right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's, that's just how everybody lived back then, you know, because um, we didn't really didn't have that much money back then. Nobody did in the community. And it wasn't just black folks, it was white folks and, oh shit. And, and it was just everybody, but it was a community, you know, and, um, my front when you walk out the front door all you saw was acres and acres and acres of cotton fields and butter beans and black eyed peas and stuff like that and uh i used to i used to re remember um when the airplane they used to fly down and uh lay down the insecticides you know the airplane to fly down real low and uh put down the insecticides and shit like that uh crop dusters whatever you want to call them it was almost like a holiday whenever we saw that because it was either an airplane or a helicopter that did that. And we always knew when they were coming because we can always hear them flying overhead. And we all run outside and watch them do their little flying, over the, flying low over the crops and then they go back up in the air and then do this little loop and then they turn around and do it again. And this, they used to wave at us every time they passed by. I really don't know if those pilots are still alive to this day. They probably did. I don't know. They might be. Or retired, laying up somewhere. Oh, and I'm going to be spinning in um, a black bandana. I waited so late to tell y'all that. But yeah, I mean, I was reminded um, of all of that. You know, just by being out there because there's so much history out there. Uh, that's where it all began and, you know, and stuff like that because... Um, like I said, I was just reminded of so much shit time. And, uh, we had cow pastures and shit like that. And I remember I used to walk out there to the fences and I could never get a goddamn cow to come to me. <laughs> I really don't know what it was. I mean, you know, it wasn't bad breath or anything like that. I just couldn't get a cow to come to me. But I had one cow that came to me. One cow. And it might have something to do with that. I had a, uh, an apple in my hand. And he came up to me and or she or he or whatever, and they came up to me and let me pet it and shit. And I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, that was my first time petting a cow. And uh, I can't remember how old I was. Uh, we had some dogs that I was very fond of. Um, I think one of them was Tippy, I think, something like that. Uh, Tippy, uh, Sheila, and some, some other ass dog, Tiny, some shit, I don't know. But I was very fond of those dogs. Tippy died. Uh, I think I got hit by a car because I remember one day I was walking out the house and I was going toward the school bus and I was just about to get on the school bus and I looked over to the left hand side and I saw a tippy laying down on the, on the ground dead and shit and I knew what had happened and I freaked out, got on the bus and cried. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be saying not, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be saying that, but yeah, I had to let out a little cry. I was just a kid, I mean, go figure. But anyway, I wanted to share that. Um, you know, there's nothing like country living. I mean, I can imagine there's a lot of people that live in the country now. Uh, they has running water. Uh, they don't have any wells and all, no outhouses and stuff like that. But I can imagine there's a lot of people that do, you know. So, I mean, hey, uh, I know all about that. I was brought up in that. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, what else? This video is not going to be very long, and I think I mentioned in Dip Street that I was going to make this a um, a the next installment of a Chub TV uh, series, but I decided to wait till the next video to do that because to make a video like that is time consuming, and I really didn't have a lot of it, so I decided to wait till the next video to do that. Um, Speaking of Dip Street, we're doing really, really good. We're up to 460 something, almost seven, almost um, 500 members. Well, not almost, 460 something. We're almost 470 something, let me just say. But we're doing really, really good. We're still having a great time. 
Uh, if you're not in there, just go to www.dipstreet.com. It's a direct link. Uh, it's on Facebook. Uh, Dip Street will be evolving to bigger and better, better things in the future. So all the loyal, the loyal people who stuck with with Dip Street for all this time and are still in there, uh, I thank you. I appreciate it. Um, as you well know, uh, a month or two back ago, there was a bunch of crazy mess that was going on throughout the dipping community, and things are looking really good. A lot of that junk has uh, subsided. Not in Dip Street. I mean, nothing going on there, but throughout the community in general. But uh, we're still having a great time, and every once in a while, just like any other group or a forum or whatever, you'll still have um, somebody that wants to sneak in there once in a while and and um, cause a little problems here and there, but they're quickly shown the door and everything's back to normal. Um, I have some great administrators. Uh, they do a really good job, and I thank those guys and gals for that. Um, like I say, it's a great group. We still have a lot of fun, so if you're not in there, you need to get in there. Um, let's see. Oh, and also Lights, Camera, and Ashton. If you're not a part of that, you need to get in there. Cause like I say, it's a great place to get your videos seen. And um, it's a great way to get on out there and get noticed and stuff like that. So if you're not in there, shoot, uh, shoot me a request and I'll be glad to put you in there and post your new videos and all that good stuff. Uh, I, can, I think that's just about it, I think. No, wait, let's talk about something else right quick. Um, I want to talk about shout outs and stuff like that, but I, I call them shouties. That's what I call them. Um, oh, here it is. Shout outs. Um, I have been victim of this, um, especially last year. Uh, there's going to be certain people that you constantly talk to on a regular basis, um, whether it's uh, Facebook. Uh, MySpace, Uvu, or, or or any type of social network site, cell phone or whatever. Um, if you talk to a group of people at the same day that you're very comfortable with, and uh, you get to a point, especially if you all make videos, you get to a point to shout out the same people all the time. And I, I used to do that too. And, you know, I learned that it, it was, it's not really a good idea to do that, because if you only shout out like three or four or five people over and over and over and over again, like I used to do, what you're really telling your viewers is that those people that you're constantly shouting out are the only people that you watch and those are the only people that you comment or, or the only people that you really pay attention to and stuff like that. And to me, it's like sending out a bad message because I mean, there's, there is so, so many people out there especially now that's coming into the dipping community that are making videos. I mean, there's just too many other videos to watch out there. And I, have, and I said, this, said this before, I have seen a lot of good videos, a lot of people that make them, they get no credit at all. I mean, they get either hardly no credit or next to little. And they should get a lot more uh, views and a lot more credit than they deserve. I'm not going to say any names because y'all know who they are. So, I mean, what people need to do is just get out there and just watch more videos, you know, because like I say, and I used to be, I used to do this myself, you know, just shout out the same people over and over and over again and stuff like that. And, you know, like I say, to me, in my personal opinion, I mean, y'all may think different, you know, and that's okay too, but in my opinion, keep shouting out the same people, that's only just telling me that, you know, is that the only people he or she's watching, you know, just those same people over and over again. And, there's just too many other videos to watch. I'm not saying that you just like just sit around just watch uh, people's videos 24/7 because you know that ain't gonna happen. You know, I think the average person that watch these videos is like early in the morning before they leave to go to work or go to school or go to college, or whatever, or late at night when things are winding down, they're getting ready for bed or whatever. I think that's the number one times when people actually watch these videos and. Uh, Cause that's what I do. Uh, right before I go to, go to bed is the number one time where I watch videos before I go to bed. So, anyway, that's my little take on that. But that's it for me. And um, y'all take care. God bless. And always remember, it ain't worth jacket. Don't be black. I know this video was kind of short, but um, I got some things to take care of. So, I'm out of here, man. Y'all take care. Keep dipping. Keep spitting black and all that good shit, huh? 
and uh, make sure you visit Dip Street www.dipstreet.com we have a great time in there and also lights camera action oh and right before I go um, Booney the Redneck DB um, I think he made his final video I think he may have made one more after that I'm not really technically sure but um, he's retiring and he's not gonna make any videos I think he's gonna start making videos of a different nature like outside and uh, fishing and hunting and all that good stuff so He's still going to be out there, but he's just going to be making videos of a different type. So he's retiring, but he's not. You know, he's still going to be around. And, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know. And uh, and I respect that. All right, chill fucker. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace. Never give and then I'll never be this sing songs us. Sing this, never give and then I'll never be this. Sing songs, us sing this. Satisfaction. Six.